Hey, welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my channel. I am your host, Crypto Long Fepe, one of your favorite crypto YouTubers. Hopefully, I am. Now, if this happens to be your first time here, please do make sure that you subscribe, okay? Because I will be doing a BTC and or an Ethereum giveaway. And help me out, guys. What do you guys want? Let me know down in the comments below, all right? So I want to give back to the community. And all I ask is that you guys do subscribe. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers. So that way, I will be able to do this giveaway as you guys help me get to that goal, all right? So go ahead, smash that subscribers button. And also, don't forget to bang the get notifications bell so that way you do stay updated as I continue to share with you content in regards to crypto and, of course, you know, articles and what's going on within the space because my objective is to help educate and, of course, to help people build up their crypto portfolios, especially what's been happening within the space you know with what's been happening because there's a lot of a lot of activity right now you know could it be that the surge of btc um be because of china you know so i don't know but i am loving what is going on right now all right so definitely i know that i have a responsibility to help educate and to continue bringing more awareness to the space and and build up the adoption of cryptocurrency all right so that's why i'm such an advocate of this space and also if you do like this video and you've been liking my content here on my channel thank you so much as you've been giving me the thumbs up because it's so important when you smash those thumbs up guys it helps bring in more subscribers and it also puts the video on the recommended for you as people are watching a video in regards to cryptocurrency my video can be somewhere below the video that they are currently viewing so make sure that you do smash the thumbs up okay it'll definitely help build up and bring in more subscribers and of course help me get closer to 1000 subs so i can give back to the community and one lucky subscriber will win some BTC and or some Ethereum. But don't forget, let me know what you want down below. All right. So right now we see that the market cap is at $309 billion. And the BTC dominance went down one point. It was 67.8. Now it's 67.7. But the altcoins are still bleeding. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to get into some Litecoin you know what's next for litecoin um did the pump happen prior to the halving so we're going to get into that there's an article i do want to share with you guys and then i'm going to let you guys go and you guys can have a phenomenal rest of the day okay so go ahead don't forget smash that subscribers button give yourselves the opportunity you know the opportunity to win some cryptocurrency and also bang to get notifications bell and smash the thumbs up so we see now that btc is currently at eleven thousand seven hundred and forty six dollars and seventy three cents up seven point five zero percent and ethereum uh just went down a buck and some change is currently at two hundred and thirty two dollars from two hundred and thirty three that it was moments ago up 5.25 percent now xrp which i did get some yesterday i never thought i would buy some xrp but i am seeing some great feedback from them you know i don't get emotionally attached to these cryptocurrencies you know um but i said i'm going to eat some of that pie so currently it is still at 32 cents and up 0.91 percent okay and now we have Bitcoin Cash, the fake BTC, at $347.86, up 4.13%. And we have Litecoin sitting at $98.05, up 5.62%. So Litecoin has been steadily consolidating between $98 and $100 right now. It did hit a high of $107, I believe, on Coinbase. Um, and on another exchange, it was $104. And we all know that these exchanges aren't you know, created equal. So they're all going to have different prices 
due to the volume, you know, that is within the exchange for that specific crypto. So those will be the top five in the coin market cap, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get into this Litecoin price rally. Now, did the pump happen prior to the halving? You guys let me know what you think down below. Personally, I think it didn't. I, I think that there's more to come. Um, and I would dare say that we may be surprised somewhat later on this week. I could be wrong. It could drop down, you know, significantly down to $85. You know, you know how the market doesn't care about how we think. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, but I am a person that doesn't follow the rest of the masses. If I see the rest of the masses say, hey, this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to go down. I tend to go the opposite way and you know the majority of the time it has worked for me but in some cases it hasn't you know you can't win all the time right but I have done pretty good going the opposite way so they're going to talk about the Calvin having and then what's next for Litecoin so Litecoin being the fourth largest cryptocurrency by market cap is struggling to maintain its interim bullish bias after reducing its mining rewards by half and if you guys don't know what the the having is for all you new newbies newborns in the cryptocurrency space you know the having is that the miners rewards are being cut in half so for example if the miners were getting 50 litecoins per block and when the having happens that means they were going to chop it down in half so instead of 50 they'll get 25 okay 25 litecoins per block so we're going to get into some of that as well, as it's mentioned here in the first paragraph, as you can see. It says that the LTC USD pair instrument earlier today established a local high of $107.04 on San Francisco's based um, Coinbase exchange. Also, the move uphill brought the pair up by 12.30%. So you know and that's from the market open um so that was also the time when the litecoin blockchain was close to reaching the block height of one six zero 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 okay and after which it would reduce its supply rate from the previous 25 ltc per two and a half minutes to 12.5 ltc's per two and a half minutes and at around 10 15 utc time litecoin underwent the so-called halving process 15 minutes later the cryptocurrency's rate started heading downwards as shown in the chart below so what do you guys think is next for litecoin we can see that it did have a pump i would dare say this is sometime in june i will give or take uh and since then it's been dipping look at this pretty much dip right here about you know this is about the nine percent dip right here that happened and we can see it consolidated there and it's steadily holding right now at 98 but again i see that we will see a pump um after and i say a couple of days from now i could dare be wrong but you know again i go against the grain <laughs> could be a bad habit but i usually go against the grain so you know up until 1330 utc time uh the pair ltc usd rate has dropped to 97 dollars and 11 cents down 9.28 percent from the local top the move expressed the need to uh the need of day traders to take their uh sessional um profits home and at the same time it showed the absence of a stronger bullish bias at the moment that earlier prompted Litecoin to register more than 200% in year-to-date returns. So halvings are bullish according to the textbook supply uh, demand model. Such events keep reducing the supply of digital assets after, after a specific time up to a certain cap limit. And if the demand uh, for those assets grows higher post the halving event, then the underlying uh, scarcity alone makes them expensive uh, to purchase. So halvings are also prob uh, problematic 
If the miners, people who run expensive rigs to mine cryptocurrencies, get disappointed now that they receive a lesser reward for confirming and adding transactions to the blockchains. So far, there are no signs of a hash rate drop in the Litecoin blockchain, which means that miners are still running the network, which is still good news. And you can see a tweet here from Charlie Lee, who says that uh, block 168,000 produced 12.5 LTC in block rewards. Uh, just hit $100. That was about 10 hours ago. Don't know when that was posted, but this report, I would dare say, is a couple of hours ago as well. Probably six, seven hours ago. Um, so let's find out what's next. So normally among miners, um, miners leaves, uh, the, the normalcy among miners leaves the Litecoin market in the hands of a handful of technicals. Traders willing well, technicals. Traders willing to drop their LTC bags for an attractive intraday profit appears logical at this point, which is why the market is experiencing a sharp correction. More likely, it could be the silver cryptocurrency preparing for consolidation price action at um, action the same as the last time. And you know, if you look at, there is the chart, the comparison with BTC, uh, having and the litecoin having right this is by way of masari.io that is a great website so definitely check them out and you can see that you know ltc is right there and um we can see what happened with litecoin i mean with btc after it had its having and how it pumped up all the way 838 percent okay so you can see in the chart here btc 2016 139 uh, one year after the having 292, two years coin in 2015 was minus 38 or 38, no, 38 percent. Was it 30? Is that 38 percent? Looks like minus 38 percent. Also, the uh, after one year, it's currently at it was currently at it was at 16 percent after the having and total two years after is that minus 28 percent can't really tell but it, yeah it does look like that so litecoin uh first year on having 2019 22 percent so now of course the other two one year after and total two years after are empty now what do you what do you guys think is next do you guys see a pump coming so the last litecoin having did not impact the price much according to the data fetched by masari.io the ltc usd pair rate merely surged by 16 percent one year after the event bitcoin did better on the other hand so the golden cryptocurrency had surged 292 percent one year after going through its last halving and 838 percent after two years this is why i sold the majority of my position in all coins because i know what's going to come with btc as we go into the new year and head into the having which will be happening for Bitcoin in May of 2020 so keep that in mind guys and in conclusion guys if Litecoin continues to remain idiosyncratic, I, idiosyncratic then there is no upside move in the cards else following Bitcoin's footsteps could yield better results with creator Charlie Lee rolling out privacy features later this year which will be helpful litecoin might just be in for an upside after all and i believe that okay so what do you guys think that's what i want to know so make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below okay and it is the first time the cryptocurrency rolls ahead of its having for starters so think about that and think about the hash rate from when btc had its last having and the hash rate of LTC they're identical so you may want to hold on to some LTC right now okay so what's today's having actually supposed to propel Litecoin's price beyond previous all-time highs you guys let me know your thoughts below make sure you subscribe bang the get notifications bell and don't forget to smash the likes guys thank you so very much and I'll see you guys in the next video peace